All right, today we're going to put together a B Series S80 transmission. We're going to install a differential and check for thrust play on the differential so we know what size factory shims to use. First thing we're going to do is we're going to clean up the cases where they meet together. This is the most important thing when you check for thrust play if there's a if there's material left on here sealant it's going to make your measurement wrong so the first thing you need to do i use a razor blade brand new and basically clean up run it along clean up the edges you want to make sure you do not take aluminum off but you want to clean it all the way up all the way around do it on both sides of the of, of the case all the way around if you have any high spots you want to make sure you take the high spots off then once you do that, take a piece of scotch Bright to take the remaining material off. So, I've already done this, but run it all the way around, get all the old sealant off. The easiest way to get it clean is use compressed air and blow all, all of it off. Obviously, you want to blow it towards the outside so you don't get more grit and you know material on the inside of the case where it's important. So you just take your differential, this happens to be a, a GSR, ITR, Quaif, OEM ring gear. This has Synchro Tech 1.5 millimeter spacers on the 6208 bearings. If you use factory bearings, you don't need the spacers because the center race is 19.5 millimeters versus these, which are a lot cheaper, uh, are 18 millimeter wide so we're going to drop the differential in sometimes these go in harder sometimes they go in really easy uh, first thing you do just take a little bit of oil with a clean finger and rub the oil around there and also a little bit of oil on the outside of the bearing it'll make it sliding in a heck of a lot easier so take the diff it's kind of heavy drop the differential in Wiggle it back and forth, make sure it's that it's all we seated in there. If it spins freely, you're good. So we got the differential in. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the uh, the other half of the case, all cleaned up, drop the other half of the case on. You have dowel pins here. There's another dowel pin over here. So basically line the dowel pin up with that. Drop the case on. Dial pins in place. Sometimes it's tricky getting it lined up. Wiggle the case a little bit. Tap on it. Case is together. If it doesn't go together, do not force it. You will break the case. It's only thin cast aluminum. Take bolts. I normally the, the uh, bolts that you know you took out. And took it off. <laughs> Sorry about that. The compressor turned on. Anyway. I normally put every other bolt in all the way around the case, thread them down, and uh, torque them to the factory specification. All right, this is part two of our transmission assembly. Right now, we got the differential inside the case, case bolts in all torqued up. We got a uh, dial indicator set up to check the thrust play in the differentials. It's critical that the thrust play is correct. The specification is zero to plus four thousandths of thrust play. The best way to do it is make sure that you have some thrust play, maybe a thousandth to two thousandths. That'll prevent the possibility of it being too tight and having zero. So we got dial indicator set up and we're gonna check the thrust play here. So the first thing you're gonna do, the optimal way to do this is take out the axle seals. Um, these axle seals are brand new. I just tore this trans down to, to replace uh, a synchro. So I'm not gonna take them out and damage them. I have to put new ones in. So basically, you just take, take an object, you wanna try to prevent with the other, your other hand the diff from spinning. Push it all the way to one direction and make sure it's at zero, right? Now it's at zero, you know, you want to go to the other the other side of the diff 
and apply pressure to it, just like we did here. And once you apply some pressure to it, you should see the needle move. When you see the needle move, the distance that it moves is your thrust play. We have approximately 1,000 thrust play, which is, in my opinion, optimal for, for this. Three. From this point, we can take our dial indicator off. I just have it clamped to the case. This is a magnetic base, but obviously we can't use it because the magnetic part because the case is aluminum. So once you very carefully remove your dial indicator and base, this is a cheap, horrible freight dial indicator base. Uh, it is a steric dial indicator. Um, I like to try to purchase quality tools as I can. I bought this actually off eBay. Uh, they're they're fairly cheap. Um, so the next step would be to break the case down again and install our main and counter shafts, shift forks, and uh, change assembly and other and other parts. So basically, remove all the bolts again and split the case.